Okay, today we're going to do a major rebuild on a resin pump. Uh, this particular one is an Atlas. Uh, if you have an Apollo or Hercules, the same pump, just a different size. So we're going to go step by step to dismantling and putting all the major O-rings and seals in and then putting them back together again. First we're going to start off by pulling the pins off the connecting block, slave arm, the callus, and the connecting block that connects the air motor to the resin pump. We're going to open up the valve a little bit so the air motor piston goes up. Take the block out. We're going to loosen up the upper housing. Make sure you put a napkin inside because you should have throat loop inside this. You're going to want a C-clamp. You can purchase them through us or at your major hardware store, auto parts store. There are holes drilled into the side. You find the right one and loosen it that way. Once you got it loose, you should be able to hand. If not, then you use a C-clamp to finish it. Once we got it loose, just remove it by bringing it straight up and out. Next we'll go down, remove the pins. This slides right out. pump shaft, pump cylinder, and a lower housing. So we're going to start with the major rebuild of the upper seal housing. You got a retaining ring, a guide, and three O-rings, and a seal. So we'll start by taking the retaining ring out. comes the guide. You have two o-rings inside. They're the thicker ones. Then you have an outer seal, outer o-ring on the outside. Then you have a seal that goes on the inside. So to install this you want a little molly note. Put a little bit on your finger. Go around the O-rings. I usually do these two at a time. You put them in. Like so. Then the seal. You want to make sure the metal is showing to the top. Not this way. And usually I put this on a flat surface to make sure it goes down flat and even. So it goes in flat and then there's another clip inside. Once you hear it click, you know you're in. The outer o-ring, a little Molly note on it as well. Easiest way is if you have a pick, make sure you do not nick the o-ring, but you can slide it right along the edge and we'll bring it all the way down. You have the guide. You always want the hollow point towards you. Retaining ring, flat side down. It makes it easier to do this later. And that is an upper seal rebuild. Next is the upper housing. There's only two O-rings. One just below where the pins go. And one on the top. Same thing. Get your O-rings, put Molly note. These go in pretty easy.
There's the bottom. And there's the top. Next, we're going to tackle the lower housing. We're going to pull the pins. Separate the cylinder from the lower housing. You'll find a ball and a spring. You can remove those. We're going to retain wrench. We're going to pull the retaining ring out. Now to get this lower seat out, I would recommend getting a piece of cardboard or something that will take a blunt and you have to push down until it pops out. It's not gonna do it. Okay, once you got the lower seat out, you get your new O-ring out of your kit. Put Molly note. Put it back in and you can Put your two fingers in and push it all the way down. It should be two clicks. Enough to fit the retaining ring back in. Now we got our retaining ring back in. We have two O-rings that go inside. Put some Molly coat on the O-rings. You got one on the bottom. And one on the top. After that, we can put our ball back in. Our spring. Put the cylinder back in. Put our pins back in. Now we're gonna change the seal in the upper ball housing. I recommend getting a Phillips head that fits the hole. Adjustable wrench. And then loosen it. Now we got the upper ball housing off the pump shaft. You got the upper receiver and the lower receiver. And you got your seal. Your seal is gonna be metal end up. Fits right along that edge. This goes facing down on the upper ball housing and your upper retainer.